Just three nights ago in Paris, the simmering discontent that's never far from the surface here erupted just a few hundred yards from the Eiffel Tower. It had started as a parade by Paris Saint-Germain to celebrate winning the French Football League, but the violence wasn't about football. Recession and soaring unemployment, particularly among the young, are now beginning to threaten social stability. For exactly a year, François Hollande has been in charge. Never has a French president become so unpopular so quickly. At a rare press conference today, he outlined plans to solve the crisis by handing over all economic control to Brussels. I asked him whether, a year after being the great hope of the left, he hadn't been a bit of a disappointment to socialists everywhere. For the moment, he said, most governments in Europe are conservative or centre-right. Britain's also been in recession, so it's not enough to just say, leave the euro and you'll get growth. If you can pass this message on to my friends in the Labour Party, he said, feel free. But the message from high-tech, internet-based companies like Nextedia, exactly the sort of firms that could be creating growth, is that it's the government's own rules that are holding them back. If there were to be reforms of the labour laws, would you be more willing to hire people? Of course. That's, uh, that's absolutely evident. I mean, uh, each time we need to hire someone, we question ourselves about uh, whether or not it makes sense. Uh, and it's a big risk. Instead, what do they get? Plans to put a special 4% tax on all smartphones and tablet computers sold in France, amid general bafflement as to how this will get consumers spending again. A new fly-on-the-wall documentary of the president's first year is just coming out in cinemas in France. But it's left many viewers with the impression of a man wilting under the strains of office. He has four years left in the Elysee Palace. Many of his compatriots are desperately hoping it won't take that long for him to prove he's up to the job.